if I went to, um, I could come to one of your places, I could come to Catholic Charities, and I could check in and say, Barbara Iverson is at Catholic Charities, and everybody would see that. So if they were having a party, I could bring them all over. However, um, that doesn't really say that much about me. Now these new apps, and these are the ones, Highlight Glancy Banjo, who's here, I'm not sure these will last, but what you do in there, you say what you are. So at South by Southwest, people love this, because somebody could say, I'm a Ruby on Rails developer. And then it, when I would come in the room, if I logged into Highlight, I would see what each one of your professional profiles are. So then that would make it easier for me to strike up a conversation with a person that was you know, based on their professional thing. Now, some people are going to say that's real intrusive and they'll hate it. Um, a, a guy from England, it was really funny, he was Twittering, and he said, you know, I tried this in London and no one else is on it. So it was like the stupidest tool in the world. But at South by Southwest, where you had a huge aggregation of people, it worked really well. So you might think, I mean, it might be a, an interesting twist to a fundraiser or to a party that you were having for your group where you could, you could ask people to use it just during that time as a way of networking and meeting one another. But I would, you know, unless they all do it, it's not going to be much fun. Pinterest, I mentioned. Do you think you could open another window with Pinterest? <coughs> and I mentioned geolocation. Can we just, do we have to close this one? Well, it's all stuck. I think I want to go back. Oh, I guess we might have to. Peter, if you press F11, it, it'll leave full screen mode. one of the reasons Pinterest is really popular is you have to ask for an invitation. So that always gives things cachet. But it's my belief, if you just ask, they'll give you <laughs> Also, right now, uh, if you are, if women are particularly in your audience, for whatever reason, Pinterest is really, really popular with women. So it would be a, that's good. <laughs> I like this because I could just sign in with my Twitter and you know sometimes when you get so many sign ins it's really a pain. Okay, just let's go up under my name there. And then you click forward. Oh, I guess it was making one of the nice. So this is, I, was, uh, I made one, you can notice that it's uh, Pinterest.com, the Iverson, and then you can just look at my boards. So here's a link to Glancy. So what I did, I went to their page, and I said, pin this, and it, then it sh says, this was, the, this was the picture on that page. Puts it on this board for me, and it captures their URL. And I could have written a message, but I didn't write a message. This one. Um, and this is one of these, these infograms that goes on and on, but if you click on it, it's just some stuff about social networking that you might want to look at. And then this visually, 
Um, have you noticed anybody, does anybody look at Mashable or something? Mashable is mashable.com. It's a very good tech resource. But all of a sudden, infographics are really big. And every day I'm seeing these infographics. So this visually, you notice it's dot .ly, they now have templates for infographics. So for those of us that love infographics but thought, I could never do that, I'm not a designer, I'd have to get a designer, I think this is, and that it's, it's a free tool you can sign up for now. So that would be really good for some of you that want to report on uh, the statistics, of, you know, report your metrics out of your successes and things. And I think this is brand new. This just, they just announced that like two days ago. So you could get in there and be the first, the first few.